Let me give you guys some backstory real quick. I fell in love with this Souls series about three years ago in April 2019 when I played Dark Souls 3 for the first time. It was a co-op run with another Souls version friend of mine and we had a blast. By the way, that playthrough is still on my old gaming channel if you guys would like to watch it. Warning, it was an old video so it has old quality. Don't worry, it's actually not that bad. Since then, I've beaten Demon's Souls twice, although it was the PS5 remake. That playthrough was also up if you want to see it. I've beaten Dark Souls 3 a few more times. I've played Bloodborne, although I haven't completed it. I have beaten Father Gascoigne. I platinum Sekiro and finally I've completed Elden Ring. Also, for good measure, I'll throw this in there. I have gotten super far into Neo 1, but never completed it, and I've beaten Neo 2 and all of its DLC. Now, why am I telling you guys this? Because despite having experience with almost every Souls game, I still can't help but to feel like a big fat fraud. Because I've never so much as even played the original Dark Souls, nor Dark Souls 2. And I just can't be walking around calling myself a Souls veteran, and I haven't even had these games under my belt. So I've decided to embark on a journey to complete every Souls game that I haven't yet. By the way, original Demon Souls doesn't count. Like I said, I've beaten the Demon Souls PS5 version twice already. I'm not going to go back and play the PS3 version just to get the same experience with worse graphics. But yeah, I don't know how long it's going to take, but I will be playing and beating Dark Souls Remastered, Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin, and finally, Bloodborne. And I'll be doing it all right here on YouTube. So if you guys are interested in watching this painful but exciting journey, stick around. And with that, on to Dark Souls Remastered. All right, now some of y'all might find this pretty boring, but I'm using the warrior class and I'm starting with the master key. Oh shit, yo, we're really here. We're starting Dark Souls 1. Oh my yes, goodness. Indeed. Yes, indeed. Oh my goodness, bro, we're here, man. Yo, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, so I don't know if I said it already, but my history with the Souls series is that I started with Dark Souls 3 two years ago, uh, fell in love with that shit. And I've since played Bloodborne and Elden Ring. But I've never gone back. Oh, and the Demon's Souls remake. But I've never gone back and played Dark Souls 1 and 2. So I'm going to be doing that during this series. Now, I know these dudes don't normally hit you. But I'm going to hit them. Because I know they drop souls. Yes, 20 delicious souls. Give them to me. But yeah, I told myself I would never go back and play these older souls titles. And I had full intentions on keeping with that. But after the Demon Souls remake came out, I'm like, man, I now officially only have two Souls titles I haven't played. Because the remake is damn near a one-to-one -one recreation of the original, just with better graphics. So I just don't have Dark Souls 1 and 2 under my belt. And that can no longer stand. So we need to go ahead and get these games played so I can officially call myself a Souls Elite. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe not an elite, but I'm definitely a veteran in these streets. I just got these two games to be all oh, in Bloodborne. I've played Bloodborne, but never beat it. Even though I am a complete noob to the Dark Souls experience, Dark Souls 1 anyway, being that I've played other games, I've definitely seen other videos on Dark Souls 1. I've seen like boss rankings. So I do already know that the Asylum Demon crashes down and that you take off and don't fight him right now. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'll be back. Also, I do know that if you can defeat him without having to come this way first, then you get his hammer, but I don't want his hammer. Okay, got my heater shield. Yo, why am I doing... I'm doing no damage to him. Is that my weapon right there? Ow! Okay. Oh, okay, this is my weapon. Run away. Run away. I need to equip. I'll be back for you. There we go. There we go. Aha! Where you go? This motherfucker then took off running. I bet he's around the corner. Oh, yeah, I hear him shooting arrows still. Hey, bro, your time has come. Nah, ass aim. Mm. Aha! First enemy of the walkthrough slain. I said we're off to a pretty good start. Playing through Dark Souls 1 is going to be an interesting experience. I am ready to beat this game. I am ready to beat Dark Souls 2 afterwards. Can I go up and get this? No, I cannot. And then I am 100% hype to actually commit myself to beating Bloodborne. See, I played Bloodborne in a very lackadaisical way. Let's go down the stairs first. Okay, leads back to the bonfire. Yep, just what I thought. Played Bloodborne in a very lackadaisical way, but I never like actually completed. I beat Father Gascoin though. So just, you know what I mean? That's like the first major wall for noobs. Ah! <laughs> oh, there's a wall right here. <gasps> But yeah, just in case you were wondering the level of skill I possess, <laughs> I beat Father Gascoigne, so I'm not absolute trash. You're no hollow. But 
Last time I played Blood Going Born was like two, three years ago. So, okay, TLDR, he basically wants me to complete the mission that he failed. And now he's about to die. He gave me his Essence Flask. Oh, and a key. Okay, I bet I need this key to go fight the Asylum Demon again. Hold on, wait a minute. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can get parries. I couldn't parry at first, but I learned how to parry when I played Demon Souls. Okay, I, I learned how to parry when I played Demon Souls. I said I learned how to parry when I played Demon Souls. You know what? If I die, yeah. I was willing to die and not use my Estus trying to get this parry. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Okay. Oh, we just used the key. I seen that. I probably should heal. I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait, though. Mm. Mm. Also, in Demon Souls Remake, I have a Moonlight Greatsword with a... I forgot what shield it was, but it has 100% damage reduction. So you're probably gonna see me running around with my shield just up at all times, because that's what I'm used to doing right now in Demon Souls. Well, not right now. But, um... Y'all know what I mean. God damn it. You got red eyes. Can I parry you? Can't parry that shit. Or maybe you can, but I don't wanna. I got him! Okay. Oh, what did I just block it? No, that was just a block animation. Damn it. Okay. Come on. Hit me. No, not with that shit. I, I'm scared of that. I don't like it. Mm, gotcha. Okay. Okay. This is boosting my parry confidence. So, what I think I'm gonna do is. Oh, that door is locked. So, during this walkthrough, I will be attempting to parry enemies. Normally, I would not have done that at all, but Demon Souls is giving me confidence. Hopefully, it's not false confidence. Asylum Demon, you ugly as hell in the face. Hey! Okay, that's good damage to start off. That's absolutely crazy that you can just block that. Obligatory dead ass. Mm. You can't fight the asylum demon and not say dead ass. Look at this boy. He's trash though. Ass crash. And you're dead. Hey man, like I said, bro, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I got a little experience with Souls games. I'm not gonna die to the Asylum Demon. Come on, man. What do y'all take me for? I don't know if I said this already, but like, but if I didn't say it already, I'm saying it now. I'm gonna be transparent with you guys and let you guys know if I already have prior knowledge to something. Cause like I said, I've seen like boss rankings and stuff on this game. Again, I really never intended to play this game. So I'm not 100% blind to this game, but at the same time, you know, knowing 1% about something is technically not 100% blind, right? But I, I, I don't know where to go. I'm not going to know what to do. But one day an undead shall be chosen. Oh! Oh, so they've been having creatures pull up on you and pick you up and take you to places since Dark Souls 1, huh? Matter of fact, that happened in Demon Souls after you beat the Fool's Idol. Those demons come down and bring you up to 3-2. To, uh, I'm only saying that because this reminds me of after you beat Vort in Dark Souls 3. How they grab you and eat, uh, the two demons grab you and take you to the undead settlement. This is like a tradition then, huh? I bet it's in every Souls game. You getting picked up by a big creature and getting teleported somewhere. Or transported, not teleported. That was the wrong word to use. Firelink Shrine. The original Firelink Shrine. Hey. Okay. I like it. You know what I'm saying? It's cool here. Got NPCs around. Don't hit the NPCs. Or humanity, okay. I don't really know what this is used for just yet. Is it the equivalent of Ember? Like, do you use it to restore your humanity form? I'm ugly as hell in the face, bro. Look at me. Okay, I don't really care about what else you have to say. Bro, I've never... Okay, like I said, I've never played this game, but I've heard of Blight Town. I think everyone who's played a few Souls games have heard of Blight Town. I am not looking forward to it. Blight Town is the dark swamp area, right, of this game. Equivalent to, you know, 5-2 in Demon Souls. Or the Farron Keep in Dark Souls 3. Oh, man. What we will do is put Vitality at 14 and leave it at that. By the way, people, I am definitely playing this game in offline mode. Because with all the struggling I've heard that you're going to do playing this game. If y'all think y'all about to be invading me and messing up my damn walkthrough. 
<laughs> Y'all got me messed up. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. We are not acquainted. Petrus of Thurland. Petrus. Have you business with us? Who's us? I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. Okay, motherfucker anti-social. That's cool. Let me go ahead and break all these pots. I hope these aren't yours, because I'm breaking them. Oh, you can jump in this game. Okay, I thought they didn't add that to, like, later. It's different, though. Instead of clicking the button, you just sprint and then hit start. Okay, that's actually better, low-key. So, yeah, you guys, I need y'all to prepare to laugh at me a lot. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ha <laughs> ha. See, this is another one of the places that I've definitely heard rumors about. This is that graveyard. Huh? This is that noob yard. Huh? Though all these graves are just the dead bodies of noobs who thought they could run through this area and not get murdered. Yeah. Hmm? Come down here. Skeletons pop up and you think, oh, OK, they're just skeletons. Skeletons are weak. They're basic enemies in every RPG. I can kill them with no problem. And then you get your ass whooped. You know what, though? What I will do is run through and grab as many items as I can. Because in Souls games, when you pick items up, you keep those shits. I don't need to... Ah! I don't need to kill the skeletons. I don't need to kill the skeletons. I just want the shit they have. Big skeleton! The Zwei Hunter. Ooh! Is that better than what I got right now? I will switch to it. I will do it. Ooh, another weapon. The wing spear. Really? A spear? Aha! Get away! Okay, okay. I got five items out of the graveyard. It's time to leave. Bro, that wasn't planned. I didn't plan to do that, but it, it worked out in my favor. No, 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 no. Go away. Go away. Go away, please. I don't want no problems. I don't want no problems. I can kill one of you. I can kill one. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I can't kill one. <laughs> well, technically, I got attacked by two. And did this crow swing at me? You know what? I consider that a success. I got more souls and shit. Let's check out the new weapons we got. Huh? Okay, the long sword that I start with does 80 damage. The Zweihander does 130. And even the wing spear does 86. Bro, I can use the wing spear from behind my shield. I'm, I need 15 decks. I'm leveling up decks next chance I get. See, this is how y'all know that I, I really don't know what's going on. Because had I known that that was going to be there, I would have just leveled decks up right away. Instead of putting it all in vitality. God damn it. Okay, so let's go this way then. I think this might be the way to go. This set of stairs over here. You look basic. Can I kill you right away? Okay. This is the way to go. Yep, I can tell. All right, let's get it. Oh, somebody's throwing stuff at me. Aha. Fill out. Yeah, stagger. Oh, God damn it. It got me. Stop. Bro, you're annoying. You're annoying. Bro, oh my. Bro, if I would have fell off, I would have been so embarrassed. Y'all would have laughed at me in the comments. I already know it. Are you Oh, you want smoke? Huh? Are you that? You're not even the same person. I thought you were the one throwing the bombs and you jumped down and try to get some smoke. Bro, stop. Get out of here. Nah, fall off. Where'd you come from? God damn it, there's a wall in the way. Okay, I'm gonna parry you. Oh! I'm gonna parry you. I'm gonna do it. It's gonna happen. Yeah! Repost. All right, let's go ahead and head up this bridge. We got an item over here. Soul of a Lost Undead. I think I have enough to actually get my two decks now. A rat? Is there something back here? Okay. Rats are pests. Kill the rat. I said kill the rat. I'm gonna pick up the item. Another soul of the lost Sunday trying to give me hella souls right now. I'm not mad at it. Is there another bonfire up ahead besides the one at Firelink? Because I could really use it right now. And at the top of this stairs, a group of enemies. I knew it. The undead bird. Okay. Watch out. I hear you coming. Oh, I forgot this game only has four cardinal directional rolling. Backstab. That is such a great improvement that they added to the series. Being able to roll in more than just four different directions. Look at this. I don't get no diagonal action. Well, that kind of felt diagonal. 
Well, from a lock on, you can't. Yeah, it, it, it messes you up from lock on. Ah! That was unintentional. Okay. How do I get back up? God damn it. That's why I need my spear, so I can just immediately poke their ass and having to do a whole ass sword swing. And like I said, I've just I've never used a spear in the Souls games. I always use swords. And as a matter of fact, I've pretty much been using straight swords. So this is like the default move set that I'm used to using in every Souls game I play. I'm gonna change it up a little bit. Now, don't get it twisted. I probably will at some point in this playthrough come back to the swords. But for now, I'm definitely gonna use the spear once I level up my dexterity by two so I can wield it. Also, I don't know what kind of build I'm going for just yet. I don't think I'm going. I mean, I'm probably not going to go pure strength if I got to put two points in the decks to use the spear. Plus, there might be more interesting weapons. Got to look up uh, that are decks. So I might end up using those. I've never done a straight decks build. Any pure builds I've ever done have been either pure strength or I did a pure faith build in, uh, in Dark Souls 3 one time. I almost made the same mistake. Then in Elden Ring, I did a, what was that? A, a magic, a magic build. Well, actually it was a magic build, but it also, like I scaled pure intelligence, but I also wielded the Moonveil Katana and the Moonveil Katana scales S off of intelligence. So it benefits you to do that. Which by the way, I don't want to hear anything about my Moonveil Katana usage. I am, an OG in the Moonville Katana game. I found the Moonville Katana early, you know, way before it was meta and known to be OP. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't use it for PvP purposes. I used it for, for, you know, just beating the game. Yo! Okay, I about to say, I know I don't got to fight that thing. You should the hell out. So if I would have, like, sprinted forward, would it have actually hit me? Probably would have, huh? Fairy time! Okay. Oh, chill out, bro. This is why I go around every corner with my shield just up. Hold on, bro. Ooh. I don't know how I did that running attack. I didn't even hit the sprint button. But I'll take it. The fact that there are running attacks in this game, I like that. Well, I didn't do it that time. Oh, so it's like a flick. You flick it forward and hit the R2 button at the same time. I like that. I like that. Can one of y'all, like, give me your crossbow? You know, before I fight you, take care of these two dudes. Or is it actually not smart to do that? You know what? That's probably not smart. That's actually ass backwards. You fight the long-range enemies first if you can. And then you go down there and get those dudes. Oh, a bonfire. Okay, well, we're definitely going to sit down at this first. We're going to go ahead and level up Dex twice so I can use my spear. Let's do another strength point because we are gonna we are trying to work toward this Wildhinder. I'll start leveling up the other stats when I feel like I need them. I feel like I'm good right now. Oh shit, hold on. I didn't equip my spear yet. I didn't equip I didn't equip my spear yet. Okay. Guess I'll kill you with the sword then. Oh, Miss Perry. Miss Perry. Gotcha. Switch. Let me change it. Oh, okay, we're good. The winged spear. Okay. I'm gonna learn a whole new play style. Ooh, we got range. I might like this. What's good, brother? Back up. Back up. Back up. <laughs> I like this. I'm not coming over there yet. Y'all not finna. Well, technically, it's more open area over there than, than, I, than where I am right now. Actually, yeah, let me come over here. Yo, you don't drink Estus. Bro. Oh my God, bro. I hate enemies that drink Estus. I drink Estus. This is what I do. Put the shield down. This is how enemies fight. I mean, this is how enemies feel fighting me. He's put. Okay. 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 This is what we're not going to do. This is what we're not going to do. This is what we're not going to do. Huh? Do something. Backstab. God damn it. What you got for me? Purchase item. Oh, he got a short bow. So now I have a short bow. So if I want to shoot at some bitches, I can do that. Wait a minute, let me go back down here. Was this the way? How do I use? What? 
backstab. Okay. Backstab. Oh. If I just hold the attack button. Oh, my arrows aren't equipped. Can I aim the bow? I can. Okay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste them right now. Oh, you just tap it one time and then you Okay, get out, get out of that mode, get out of that mode, get out of that mode. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Okay. We got a short bow, ladies and gentlemen. Did I test it on these motherfuckers? I'm gonna test it one time. Test it one time. Air shot. Air shot. Okay, two times. This is addicting. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Okay. I'll kill you with my spear. I'm so yeah, pretty par for the course right now. Just going through the area, killing enemies, picking up items. You know what I mean? Regular degular soul stuff. Nothing, nothing special to see here. Now, can I survive this drop? Cause I'll try it. Matter of fact, there's a little thing right there. I'll try to make this jump. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not scared. Maybe I'm a little bit afraid, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I got more courage than fear. <laughs> oh, okay. That probably wasn't even special. I'm pretty sure you're meant to do that. And I'm just being dramatic, hyping it up for no reason. What's down here? Hey, man, like I said, man, I can get used to this spirit life, baby. I've never known such power. Being able to not only attack the enemy from farther away than I normally am used to, but simultaneously being able to attack in cramped hallways. I'm used to having swords and I try to swing at people and then my sword hits the little thing and I can't even swing at them. Whoa. Why am I back at the shrine? And I just felt... Bro, you can't be serious, bro. Oh my gosh. Wow. Why? I ain't gonna lie, it's just a tad cheap that I can sit behind my shield and still poke. But that doesn't mean I'm not gonna do it. If there's any game where enemies and bosses deserve to be beaten in cheap ways, it's the Soul series. Let's fuck them. They don't adhere to normal video game rules. You don't attack all at the same time. That's not what you do. And my spear is hitting walls, by the way, and I'm, I don't appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Other games. Enemies attack you one by one, giving you fair chance to take them all out. Souls game, they just gank you. Black fire bombs, okay. That is actually really good that I just got those. Although I don't want to use them yet. I'm kind of a hoarder when it comes to games. Like when I get really good items, I'm like, okay, I got this item. This is going to be really good for specific situations. And then I find myself never using them. I got this irrational fear that I'll use the item in a situation where I didn't really need to use it. And then I'll come up on a situation where I could really use the item, but then I don't have it. So I just end up never using it at all. Which isn't better, but, you know. That's just the way it is. Okay, what's through here? Who is this? Whoa! I do no damage to him. Okay, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. I just wanna see what's down here real quick. Open the door. Mm. Am I not supposed to be in this area yet? Dark root basin, no, 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 no. This is definitely not an early game area. Something just tells me. Go away. Is he going to chase me the whole? No, please don't. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you. I just wanted to explore. Stop chasing me. I hear you behind me still. Bro, he's not going to leave me alone, is he? He's not going to leave me alone, bro. Seriously? Yo, give up. Bro, this is the boss bridge. Okay, he's stuck behind a fog wall. Ha ha. Okay, from boss ranking videos I've seen, I do recognize this is the bridge where I fight the Taurus demon. 
<laughs> Why would they put that there? Well, I guess I needed the master key. So if I didn't have the master key, I wouldn't have even been able to go through that door. But actually, I didn't need a master key to get to that area. So I could have got attacked anyway. That's not fair, bro. All right, Taurus Demon. Hold on, there's any, there's, can I climb up to the top of this? Ah! Climb. Don't hit me, 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 don't hit me. Oh my gosh. Get your ass out of here. Shooting at me and shit. Oh, he can come up here? Yo. In all in the boss ranking videos I've seen, which is two of Dark Souls 1, I've never seen anyone come up here. So I've never seen anyone fight the Taurus Demon up here. I didn't even know he could come up here. Is this better? Is this better? This is better. No, because I know people get knocked off the bridge all the time. So is this just, is this just a better spot to fight the Taurus Demon? Well, I'm dead. I'm going to do this every time now. Hold on. Okay, he got me that time. I'm doing this again, though. Okay, bad news. I only have three Estes to fight this dude with right now. I'm going to make him jump down. Jump down. Ah, you bitch. I gotta move fast so I can kill them before he gets up from me. No hit. I'll take those souls back. Nah, I officially have two Westers. Okay, I'm gonna fight him up here. Okay, I can't be I can't be getting hit by that shit. What? I got clipped. I'm getting clipped, bro. Okay, maybe I'll roll backwards instead. That's what I'll do. That's the move. Oh, he staggered. <laughs> okay. Oh, you missed. Stabbing the dick. Stabbing the dick. Stabbing the dick. Mm. Staggering in. Mm. Okay, don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Damn it. Ow. Okay, so we can still knock you off. I'm about to jump down. Oh, I didn't know he was gonna turn our way around like that. I got this, bro. I got this shit. You clip me, but that's all right. It seems that as long as I don't take the full brunt of the attack and I just get clipped. Okay, never mind. Hypothesis misproven or disproven. Okay, okay, okay. Chill, 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 chill. You're almost dead. You're not you're not gonna beat me. No! Oh my gosh. Two more pokes. I'm getting greedy. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Let's go. Let's go, Taurus Demon. Yeah. I just wanna say he shouldn't even have killed me the first time. I was drinking Estus. And he murdered me while I was doing that. I got a homer bone. Am I meant to use that right now? This would be pretty nice. See, yeah, normally you fight the Taurus Demon in this area right here, and he be hitting you, and you get knocked off, and you die, and I don't like none of that. Oh! That's Solaire? That's Solaire! I've never seen you before, except for in videos where they mention you. I've never actually... Okay. Hello. You don't look hollow. Far from it. You're famous, bro. An adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Yeah. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land. Okay. The place of Lord Gwyn to seek my very own son. No need to hide your reaction. 
I get that. Nicole. That's why he's staring at the sun right now. Okay, so he gave me the co-op item. So that's how you get it. You literally have to come down here and talk to him. You just buy it in other Souls games, but okay. Hey, man, it was good speaking to you, brother. You know what I'm saying? Sitting over here chilling, just looking at the sun and whatnot. Yeah. Do I go this way? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. If I lose my souls, I'm going to cry. No! This game is an ass. This, this game. This game. This game. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Fuck you and everything you stand for, dragon. All right. That is going to do it for this part, man. Uh, Dark Souls 1. Interesting. We beat the Asylum Demon, of course, and then we beat the Taurus Demon. I only died once to the Taurus Demon, and I died by falling off of a cliff. That was some bull, but <laughs> we got it done. Hey, man, if this is your first time, don't make it your last time. Hit the subscribe button down below. If you would like to see part two, then make sure you go ahead and like the video up. I would give a light go, but come on, man. I'm, I'm going to beat this whole game. I've committed, so I don't necessarily need a light go for part two, but... It would be encouraging if you guys could drop some likes on the video. Talk to me down in the comments. If you got any tips that aren't outright spoilers, do feel more than welcome to leave them down there in the comments, bro, because I might need them. <laughs> and until next time, this is your boy, Daru, signing out. Peace. Yes.